குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.com hello students now in this class we'll discuss problems of vectors exercise 10.2 okay first question compute the magnitude of following vectors compute the magnitude of following vectors okay what are the vectors given here a bar is i cap plus j cap plus k cap b bar is 2i cap minus 7j cap minus 3k cap okay and c bar is 1 by root 3 i cap plus 1 by root 3 j cap minus 1 by root 3 k cap okay now we know that magnitude of the vector r bar is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is uh, square root of x square plus y square plus z square and this is the magnitude of a vector formula ma. okay magnitude of a vector r bar is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is magnitude of r bar is equal to square root of i quotient square plus j quotient square plus k quotient square under root okay so magnitude of a bar what is a bar a bar is i cap plus j cap plus k cap so magnitude of a bar is square root of 1 square i quotient is what here 1 j quotient is what here 1 k quotient is what here 1 okay square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square okay that is square root of 3 okay magnitude of a bar is square root of 3 okay the magnitude of b bar magnitude of b bar is square root of 2 square plus uh, j quotient is what my here minus 7 so minus 7 square plus k quotient is what here minus 3 minus 3 square okay that is square root of 4 plus 49 plus 9 that is square root of 62 magnitude of b bar is square root of 62 okay next magnitude of c bar magnitude of c bar is square root of i quotient is what here 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 square plus j quotient 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 square plus k quotient minus 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 square so this is equal to square root of and this is what 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 okay square root of 3 by 3 nothing but square root of 1 nothing but 1 so magnitude of c bar is how much 1 so actually c bar is a unit vector c bar is a unit vector okay and this is the formula to find out magnitude of a vector next second question write two different vectors having same magnitude okay write two different vectors having same magnitude okay now simply not only this my write any example any example you write suppose you consider uh, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap b bar you write x y z in different order that's it x y z in different order okay But two vectors can have same magnitude if the sum of the squares of quotient of i cap j cap k cap are same okay what it is two vectors can have same magnitude if sum of squares of quotient of i cap j cap k cap are same okay suppose if we consider a bar as x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap okay b bar as uh, uh, y i cap minus x j cap plus z k cap you write like this something like this okay now here what i wrote a bar is equal to 2i plus 3j minus k cap b bar what i wrote 3i plus 2j minus k cap okay 
now these two are two different vectors these two are two different vectors okay now magnitude of a bar is how much magnitude of a bar is square root of i quotient 2 square plus j quotient 3 square plus k quotient minus 1 square okay that is square root of 14 next magnitude of b bar b bar what i consider my 3i plus 2j minus k cap okay so magnitude of b bar is also square root of 3 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 square nothing but square root of 14 okay so magnitude of a bar is equal to magnitude of b bar is equal to square root of 14 okay so a bar and b bar are two different vectors having same magnitude okay now how you can write two vectors of same magnitude if some of their uh, squares of quotient of i j k are same okay you take one vector my a bar you change quotient of i j k in different order for second vector that's it okay magnitude will be same next write two different vectors having same direction a same direction means uh, uh, their direction ratios or di direction cosines has to be same okay now i'll give easy example ma. now a bar i consider as i cap plus j cap plus k cap okay this is one vector and same as direction of this vector simply write uh, b bar as some multiple of this vector okay a bar is i cap plus j cap plus k cap b bar you write as a 2i plus 2j plus 2k or else 3i plus 3j plus 3k okay or else you write 1 by i 1 by 2i plus 1 by 2j plus 1 by 2k you like you write something like that okay now here what i wrote a bar as i cap plus j cap plus k cap and b bar as 3i cap plus 3j cap plus 3k cap okay now if you observe direction cosines of first vector okay direction cosines of first vector cos alpha or l is equal to what we can write my vector xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap a bar is a vector xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap then cos alpha is equal to x by square root of x square plus y square plus z square cos beta is equal to or m is equal to y by square root of x square plus y square plus z square and cos gamma is equal to n is equal to z by square root of x square plus y square plus z square now using that property l is equal to l is equal to here i quotient is what 1 by square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square okay 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is 1 by root 3 okay 1 by root 3 l is equal to 1 by root 3 m is equal to 1 by because uh, j quotient is how much here 1 okay 1 by square root of uh, 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square okay m is uh, 1 by root 3 and uh, n n is what here cos gamma is equal to z means k quotient 1 by square root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square that is 1 by root 3 n is equal to 1 by root 3 okay l m n are what we got 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 cos alpha is 1 by root 3 cos beta is 1 by root 3 cos gamma is 1 by root 3 these are direction cosines of vector a bar direction cosines of vector a bar okay Next, one more vector I am considering B bar as 3i cap plus 3j cap plus 3k cap. Okay. So, L is equal to what we get? X by means quotient of i by square root of uh, uh, i quotient square. Okay. So, 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square. So, 3 by square root of uh, 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square. That is 3 by. But this is what? 27. No? Square root of 29 plus 9 plus 9. Okay square root of 27 that we can write as 3 root 3 okay 3 3 cancel 1 by root 3 l is equal to 1 by root 3 m is also what we got 1 by root 3 n is also 1 by root 3 okay now the, these are direction cosines of vector b bar okay now if you observe a bar direction cosines 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 b bar direction cosines 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 now these are two different vectors having same direction okay these are two different vectors having same direction okay simple ma two different vectors having same direction means you take some vector a bar okay you take some other vector b bar as some multiple of a bar okay i took easy vector okay i cap plus j cap plus 2 cap okay you take b bar as a 2i plus 2j plus 2k something like that okay then two vectors different vectors having same direction okay next question number four find values of x and y so that the vectors 
टू वाई क्या प्लस थ्री जे क्या एंड एक्स ए क्या प्लस वाई जे क्या पार इक्वल फाइंड वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो दैट द वेक्टर्स टू वाई क्या प्लस थ्री जे क्या एंड एक्स ए क्या प्लस वाई जे क्या पार इक्वल ओके एल कंसिडर दिस एज वेक्टर ए बार में ए बार एंड दिस इज वेक्टर बी बार ओके नाउ टू वेक्टर्स ए बार एंड बी बार आर इक्वल ओके टू वेक्टर्स ए बार एंड बी बार आर इक्वल इफ क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई क्या on both sides equal quotient of j cap on both sides equal and quotient of k cap on both sides equal okay but two vectors are equal if they have same quotient of i j k okay along with the same sign okay now if we equate these two vectors so what we have 2y cap plus 3j cap is equal to xi cap plus yj cap so here i quotient is how much my x here i quotient is what 2 so x has to be equal to 2 Next here j quotient is what y here j quotient is what three so y has to be equal to three x two y three x two one y three okay next question number five find scalar and vector components of the vector with initial point initial point two comma one and terminal point minus five comma seven okay. I'll consider initial point A as a two comma one and a terminal point B as a minus five comma seven. Okay, let O be the origin. Now, O A bar, O A bar is what? O A bar is two y cap plus j cap. O B bar is what? Minus five y cap plus seven j cap. Okay. So what we have here, if you observe, this is a by triangle of vector addition. O A bar plus A B bar is equal to O B bar. O A bar plus A B bar is equal to O B bar. Okay. O A bar plus A B bar is equal to O B bar. So A B bar is equal to what we can write? O B bar minus O A bar. Okay. So A B bar is equal to O B bar minus O A bar. So what is O B bar? O B bar is position vector of point O. With respect to origin, okay. O B bar is a position vector of point B with respect to origin. O B bar is how much? Minus y y cap plus seven j cap. Minus O A bar. O A bar is a position vector of point A. So O A bar is two y cap plus j cap. So what we have here? Minus y y cap plus seven j cap minus two y cap plus j cap. Okay. Now we have to add or subtract corresponding i quotients, j quotients, okay, i components and j components. Now here minus y y cap, minus two y cap. Total is how much? Minus seven y cap, minus seven y cap, okay. Plus seven j, seven j cap minus j cap is six j cap. So a b bar, a b bar vector a b bar is what? Minus seven y cap plus six j cap, okay. Now What else we have to write? We have to write scalar components and vector components of the vector a b bar. Okay, scalar components and vector components of the vector a b bar. Okay, scalar components nothing but quotient of i and quotient of j and quotient of k. Okay, so quotient of i is what minus seven. Quotient of j is what six. Okay, the scalar components of vector a b bar are minus seven and six. Minus seven and six. Okay, while the vector components are vector components are minus seven i and six j. These are vector components. Whereas scalar component means uh, uh, quotient of i cap, j cap, k cap. Okay, so scalar components of this vector are minus seven and six, and vector components of this vector are minus seven i and six j. Okay, next, next question, question number six, find. Sum of the vectors a bar, b bar, and c bar. Find sum of the vectors a bar is equal to i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap, and vector b bar is equal to minus 2y cap plus 4j cap and 5k cap, and vector c bar is equal to i cap minus 6j cap minus 7k cap. Okay. Now sum of the vectors a bar plus b bar plus c bar. It is nothing but sum of different components of i cap, j cap, and k cap. You have to take means you have to add now a bar. What is a bar? Ma, 
this one what is b bar this one what is c bar this one now here how we have to add we have to add i components i components is min, uh, i cap minus 2 i cap plus i cap so i cap plus i cap 2 i cap minus 2 i cap 0 i cap 0 i cap is nothing but 0 okay next j minus 2 j plus 4 j minus 2 j plus 4 j is what plus 2 j okay now 2 j minus 6 j 2 j minus 6 j is minus 4 j so minus 4 j minus 4 j cap next i component uh, k component k cap plus 5 k cap 6 k cap 6 k cap minus 7 k cap minus k cap so vector sum of the vectors a bar and b bar and c bar is a bar plus b bar plus c bar what we got here minus 4 j cap minus k cap minus 4 j cap minus k cap okay next question question number 7 find unit vector in the direction of vector a bar is equal to i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap find unit vector in the direction of vector a bar is equal to i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap. Now here unit vector, unit vector, what is the formula? Unit vector a cap is equal to a bar by magnitude of a bar. Okay, a bar by magnitude of a bar. Okay, divide vector by its magnitude. Okay, what is given here? Vector a bar is equal to i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap. Okay, magnitude of a bar is square root of i quotient 1 square plus j quotient 1 square plus k quotient 2 square that is 4. Okay, square root of 1 plus 1 plus 4 that is square root of 6. Okay, magnitude of a bar is what? Square root of 6. Okay, so unit vector in the direction of vector a bar, unit vector in the direction of vector a bar, what is the formula? A cap is a bar by magnitude of a bar. Okay, what is a bar? I cap plus j cap plus 2k cap upon magnitude of a bar is square root of 6. Okay, so nothing but uh, i by root 6 plus j by root 6 plus 2k by root 6. Nothing but 1 by root 6 i cap plus 1 by root 6 j cap plus 2 by root 6 k cap. Okay, my unit vector means uh, divide vector by its magnitude. Okay, unit vector in the direction of vector a bar. What is the formula? Ma? A cap is equal to a bar by magnitude of a bar. Okay, a bar by magnitude of a bar. Okay, next question. Question number 8. Find the unit vector. Find the unit vector in the direction of vector PQ. In the direction of vector PQ. Okay, where P and Q are the points. P is a point. 1, 2, 3, Q is a point 4, 5, 6 respectively. Okay. Find unit vector in the direction of vector PQ bar where P and Q are the points 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6 respectively. Means P is a point order triplet 1, 2, 3, Q is a point order triplet 4, 5, 6. Means if you write position vector, OP bar what we get? Ma? OP bar is I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap and position vector of point Q, OQ bar is equal to 4I cap plus 5J cap plus 6K cap. Okay. So, what we have to find? Unit vector in the direction of vector PQ. Unit vector in the direction of vector PQ. So, first of all find out vector PQ bar. Okay. PQ bar is nothing but OQ bar minus OP bar. Ma AB bar means uh, OB bar minus OA bar. Ma. Similarly, PQ bar is uh, OQ bar minus OP bar. Okay, what is OQ bar? OQ bar is this one. OQ bar is 4A cap plus 5J cap plus 6K cap minus uh, OP bar. OP bar is what? I cap plus 2J cap plus 3K cap. Okay, now difference of I components. 4I cap minus I cap, 3I cap, Next, J components, 5J cap minus 2J cap plus 3J cap, okay, 6K cap minus 3K cap, that is 3K cap, okay. So, vector PQ bar is 3I cap plus 3J cap plus 3K cap, okay. Unit vector 
in the direction of PQ bar is what? PQ bar divided by its magnitude. So, magnitude of PQ bar, modulus of PQ bar is square root of i quotient square 3 square plus 3 square plus 3 square. Square root of 3 square 9 plus 9 plus 9. Square root of 27. Square root of 27 what we can write? 3 root 3. Okay. So, magnitude of PQ bar is 3 root 3. Okay. And the unit vector in the direction of PQ bar is what? PQ bar by magnitude of PQ bar. So, PQ bar is what? 3A cap plus 3J cap plus 3K cap upon 3 root 3. So, take 3 common in numerator, cancel out. Okay. So, what we get? I cap plus J cap plus K cap upon square root of 3. So, further what we can write this one as? Unit vector in the direction of vector PQ bar is 1 by root 3A cap plus 1 by root 3 j cap plus 1 by root 3 k cap. Okay? But this is the unit vector in the direction of vector p q bar. Now here point p given, point q given. So, vector p q bar is o q bar minus o p bar. So, first of all find vector p q bar. How much we got here? 3 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 3 k cap. Next, magnitude of p q bar is what? Magnitude of p q bar is the square root of 27 that is 3 root 3. Since the unit vector in the direction of vector PQ bar is PQ bar divided by its magnitude PQ bar. So, that is what we got 1 by root 3 A cap plus 1 by root 3 J cap plus 1 by root 3 K cap. Okay. Next, question number 9. For the given vectors A bar 2i minus J plus 2 K cap and vector B bar minus i cap plus J cap minus K cap. Okay. These two given vectors. Find the unit vectors in the direction of uh, A bar plus B bar. Okay. Find the unit vectors in the direction of unit vector, ma, not unit vector, unit vector in the direction of A bar plus B bar. Okay. Find unit vector in the direction of uh, A bar plus B bar. Now here for given vectors A bar and B bar, we have to find unit vector in the direction of A bar plus B bar. So, first of all what we have to find? We have to find sum of the vectors A bar and B bar. Then unit vector in the direction of A bar plus B bar we have to find. Okay, what is given A bar? A bar is given as 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap. Okay, and vector B bar as minus i cap plus j cap minus k cap. Okay, this is A bar and this is B bar. Now, sum of the vectors A bar and B bar. Sum of the vectors A bar and B bar is A bar plus B bar is equal to if you add these two. So, 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap plus uh, minus i cap plus j cap minus k cap. Okay. So, 2i cap minus i cap is what? i cap. Okay. Minus j cap plus j cap. 0 j cap nothing but 0. Plus 2k cap minus k cap is k cap. So, sum of the vectors a bar and b bar is what? i cap plus k cap. Now, to find out unit vector in the direction of A bar plus B bar is, what is the formula? A bar plus B bar upon magnitude of A bar plus B bar, this is the formula. Okay, A bar plus B bar upon magnitude of A bar plus B bar. Now, for this, first of all, find magnitude of A bar plus B bar. Okay, magnitude of A bar plus B bar is square root of I quotient 1, so 1 square plus K quotient 1 square 1. So, 1 plus 1 is what? 2 square root of 2. Okay. Magnitude of A bar plus B bar is square root of 2. Okay. So, unit vector in the direction of A bar plus B bar is A bar plus B bar by magnitude of A bar plus B bar. Okay. So, A bar plus B bar what we got? I cap plus K cap upon magnitude of A bar plus B bar is square root of 2. So, I cap plus K cap by square root of 2 nothing but 1 by root 2 I cap plus 1 by root 2 K cap. Okay. I will conclude up to here. We will continue remaining problems in next class. Thank you.